Hello, I'm Steve with Eberspacher. Today we are going to learn about a visual inspection on an Airtronic heater. For the burner operation, we need to check the fuel supply, combustion air intake, exhaust, and the power supply and wiring connections. I want to maintain these items and maintain the correct air fuel ratio. This helps the heater to be more reliable with less maintenance. The system operation is all about the air throughput or air moving through the heater and ducting. Obviously, if I have a restriction here, the air is not moving and the system is not working well. I always compare our heaters to a diesel engine because they are so much smaller and can be affected much easier than the engine. How far will the engine go on a gallon of fuel? My heater will operate more than 15 hours. The first thing to check is the fuel metering pump. It should be mounted at a 15 to 35 degree angle. The wire harness is the output side and should be facing up. If the pump is flat or upside down, it can overfuel the heater and cause carbon buildup. The first example is an older application mounted correctly. The next example is missing the bracket to hold the proper angle. This example shows the fuel pump mounted at a downward angle, but also the wire harness and fuel line are unsecured. These could get snagged by parts or tools when working on the truck. Also make sure there is enough slack in the fuel line and wire harness to allow for cab travel. Sometimes it's as simple as cutting a zip tie. Next is the combustion air intake and exhaust. This is how the burner breathes. There should be neutral air pressure away from the direction of travel and angled downward to prevent debris from entering. It should be properly supported without low spots or tight bins. The total length from beginning to end and the number of bins all attribute to how well the air flows through the burner. The combustion air should be from a fresh air source. The first example shows a traditional flexible intake across the bottom of the cab, properly secured and angled downward toward the rear. The next example shows the new factory dogleg style fitting. The bad example shows the intake outside the chassis rail with a sharp 180 degree bend and the tie strap pulled too tight. The next example has a low spot where road spray and dirt can accumulate and restrict air intake. The exhaust should be positioned away from anything heat sensitive. The first example shows a hard pipe installation and the second with the flexible exhaust. They are both past the back of the cab and angled downward. The first bad example shows the exhaust too long. This will cause the flexible exhaust to separate and could end up breaking off under the cab as in the next photo. If I have exhaust under the cab and there are any unsealed openings, then I could get exhaust into the cab creating a dangerous situation. Next is the power supply and connections. You may not be able to view all the connections on this quick visual inspection, but I can look at all the wire harnesses and make sure they are properly supported and not damaged or corroded. The wiring should be properly sized for the length and the amperage draw. The heaters are voltage sensitive, so the batteries need to be properly maintained. My examples show the power connections at the batteries. The positive terminal is cleaned and treated, and the negative terminal shows the insulation stripped too far back on a dirty terminal. This will lead to corrosion and a heater that won't work. That takes care of the outside inspection, and now we'll check the space around the heater. We need to look at the vents and all ducting for damage and routing. Then the heater mounting and space around the heater. There should be nothing on or against the case. This is the quick visual inspection. First, I will find the exhaust and follow it to the heater. Check the combustion air intake and then follow the fuel line to the pump and then the tank. I will check the harnesses and then get inside and check for space around the heater and all the ducting. These items are often overlooked and contribute to heater issues. Always conduct a visual inspection before working on a heater. Thank you.